started 5-0. and uh, Hicks, 11 points. That's one off tie in his career high. Uh, Bernard now 17 career 20-point games. That's the most among all active ASUN players. Uh, 47 points is the second fewest uh, in non-conference Division One history for FGCU. Uh, the record's 30 by 10 in 7-8. And we'll start with Coach and open it up. Well, after a, uh, I guess sluggish wouldn't even be a good word to use the way we started offensively. But once we slowed down and got the ball moving, uh, settled in, I thought we, we actually played some played some good basketball offense. We missed some shots, but that's all part of it. Uh, I think part of the other thing is, I mean, I, San Francisco is better than they played. Uh, it must have been frustrating because they missed some free throws, but I, I thought our defense was good. They missed. They did miss some chippies. Uh, which was fortunate for us. I thought we did a good job of protecting the paint, especially Nate did a nice job of protecting the paint. And I think the only other really disappointing thing for me from a coaching standpoint was the way we ended the game. We didn't take care of the ball and value, value the minutes that some of the younger guys got, but they need to learn that and they will. Are there some games that are more even more physical than others, certain makeup of the teams going in, and if this was one of those, do you feel proud about the way the guys? Yeah, they're, I mean, San Francisco guys are going to have a good year, and I, I do think that they're physical inside. We're fortunate that Pink has gotten some foul trouble. Uh, you know, and, and I thought we did a good job of protecting the rim. And Clemens is a big body kid, and Christensen is a big body kid, and that's why Nate is so valuable to us. I mean, Nietzsche and Eric are starting to figure out some of the things they need to do. I thought Eric did a better job. I thought. Meach did a better job guarding the post. Now, that being said, they had some guys that are a handful. I think that, uh, but especially the big fellow here. Mark Eddy did a great job getting some loose balls. Coach, do you think it was the best second hand, The second half was the best half of basketball you guys have played this year? Uh, I, mean, I, I think we, we did some nice things. I, I didn't think we valued the ball like we needed to. And Teddy turned it over carelessly. They sort of irritated us. And, uh, I thought that we got a little bit of a rhythm. But I thought you know, they also missed some shots. And I, you know, when that happens, they had some bodies that they missed too. I think the big fella and, and those guys did a good job of challenging some shots up to the loss. Bernard, you came out in the second half and buried a couple of threes and kind of buried them along with that. Was that what was the atmosphere like at the half, and then how important was it for you guys to get off to a nice start in the second half? Well, Coach uh, had told us to win the first five minutes, and we just tried to come out with a lot of energy. Sometimes it start off the end a little bit in the second half. So I think it was just. Try to get my team going, knock down a couple of shots, and just get the energy going. Nate, you seem to really value your role and know exactly kind of where you fit in on this team. How much do you think that you're kind of giving the team what they need, especially now that you're getting a chance to get in there and play again? Um, yeah, I embrace it. It's a, I've been around quite a while, and I know it keeps me on the floor. I play a little defense, try to rebound the ball, and set a ball screen for the guys who score a little bit better than I do. So um, I, I just take a lot of pride in that. and. Uh, just trying to have a little fun and keep on the court as much as possible this year. What you got under your eyes, sir? Did that happen tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know, it's a, I actually have um, a little bit of a skin disorder, so nothing, nothing too serious. Okay. But um, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll uh, just Didn't know if you got roll all the punches a little bit. I, I wish it was. I wish there was a cool story <laughs> underneath it. <believe. laughs> no, just, just some skin problems. <laughs> It doesn't look like fun when you get uh, elbows to the face. And, no, and if you want to see my chest, I probably have some bruises over there. Like, no, thanks. Keep your shirt on. You guys are missing out. John, what are your thoughts on Green Bay? You know what? I think that uh, when you have a great guard like he is, uh, you can create a lot of problems. And I've, I've been impressed by their athleticism. And uh, I think that they, they're going to be a team that's got to really challenge us in, in passing lanes and challenge us to, to have to guard again. Bernard, what's it going to be like for you guys to go up against a guard like Sykes you know, this early in the season? Um, you know, he's quick and athletic. Um, I think our best bet is just try to contain him as much as possible. Um, we know the team's just a pretty solid team. They got athletic players. And I think we just have to contain him a little bit, do the best we can, and just be solid on the defensive end. He may have injured his wrist, or it looked like he took a hard fall right at the end of the game. I mean, you try and pressure him, take that into account, you know, just knowing. I mean, I thought he's, he's a great player. I mean, you sort of see how the flow of the game goes, and, you know, how severe or how, you know, hopefully he's okay. You know, just sort of see what happens. Could you put so much focus on him that you might lose track of a couple other guys that they have? No, I think there's a lot of different ways to look at him. Sometimes some coaches like to try to shut out one guy. And, He's, he's a, a really good player. Obviously, you don't want to have him have an unbelievable night, but he's going to do enough things to put you in harm's way. I think it's sometimes the games where it's guys that 
or averaging seven and they get 17, they beat you more often than the guy that averages 18 and gets 18 or 22. Right. And sometimes you have to make sure you pay attention to those other guys and recognize that don't let guys have career nights. Maybe you said it's fun, you know, doing your role stuff. It doesn't look like fun. I'm kidding. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be for everybody, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, my, my purpose of coming back this year was to I should just really try to show myself and others that I rebounded from the injury, and uh, I, I'm getting a lot of fulfillment out of doing so. Bernard, you guys are now 5-0. and I know you guys are still finding yourself out there exactly the team you want to be, but what's it like to get off to a good start in the win column? Uh, I feel like it's a good thing, but, you know, I feel like we should be too happy about it. Sometimes we have we have bad games, but we come out with the wins, and I don't think we want to peak too early because it's a long season, and if you peak too early, it might start to go downhill. But um, we're not satisfied, though. Just try to keep winning, play, take it game by game. Joe, a good sign. You guys are winning different styles, scoring against UCSB and uh, Ohio, and you know defense. These well, last few days, with some of the versions, you know, we've talked. Our, our offense isn't very good right now, but when you look around the country, no one is. You know, we watch games like go home, and I mean, you've seen the scores in the tournament here haven't been real high-scoring games. I think the defenses are ahead of the offense. Another thing I think is because the teams that are in the tournament are good. You have teams that are good, solid teams, and you know Green Bay's won a lot of games, and Rex and those guys are going to have a good year. And, I just think that we play good teams, their defense are ahead, and, and you haven't seen this type of pressure in practice every day, and that's it's different. Anything else?